Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, here it is, January 2020, and this is my first video of the new year. Happy New Year, everyone. I know we're uh, 10 days in, what is it, uh, 11 days in actually, and I've been unable to do a video for a little while. Uh, for you guys who subscribe to this channel, um, you followed me over the, over the past year and a half, just to update you a little bit, uh, right after Thanksgiving, my uh, mother fell very ill, and I do take care of her. And she's been in and out of the hospital about five times, and it just prevented me from being back up here in the mountains. She's doing a lot better now. She's in recovery, and we're hoping that uh, within the next week, uh, maybe a couple weeks, she will be back home. So, uh, you know, just to update you guys on that. Also let you know that uh, I started training. I used to compete in powerlifting back in the 90s. I'm 53 now, decided to come out of retirement and competed as, as a master, which is over 50. So in between um, taking care of my mom and running back and forth to hospitals and emergency rooms and various things, I've been uh, doing some serious training for uh, Northwest Powerlifting Championships next month uh, in Springfield, Oregon. So guys, if you're up in Springfield area, come cheer me on. Anyway, first new video of 2020. I was trying to think, how could we enter into 2020 with a bang? Battle of the Monster Choppers. I got with me out here today too, two of the biggest monster chopping blades that you can get. They're, they're heavy, they're thick, um, they're designed for nothing but chopping. They're not to make feather sticks. They're not designed for carbon traps. They're big, heavy choppers. So, what I got, first of all, hanging from the tree back here, I have the Topps El Chete. Topps El Chete. 12 inch. Uh, blade, quarter inch thick steel, very heavy chopping a blade. Comes with a Kydex sheath with a uh, dangler, which now I'm going to tell you these two blades I'm going to do here. I wouldn't carry either one on my side in the woods because for me they're just too heavy. I got my Essie Hunglis on today, which for me is just the perfect survival knife. I absolutely love this knife. It's still my favorite big blade, even though maybe some others um, outperformed it just a hair on a, on a test here and there. Essie Hoonglis is still my favorite, and you cannot beat that Essie warranty. But anyway, guys, these types of blades, the Topps El Chete, and again, 12 inches, quarter inch thick, Topps Power Eagle 12. Those are the type of blades I like to carry in my vehicle. You know, I carry a Baco saw on my bushcraft pack when I'm out here in the woods, but I carry a much bigger, heavier duty folding saw in my truck. You know, if my truck gets stuck and I need to get uh, some, some wood down, you know, maybe saw a, a small tree that's fallen across the road, I want a bigger, heavier blade. So these, are the type of tools that I like to carry in my vehicle. You know, a big saw, a big blade. I carry a hatchet on my pack, I carry a big heavy ax in my truck. So you guys get the idea. Well, I thought it would be fun to come out here, first video of 2020, and take these two monster choppers and put them head to head. And uh, they're both tops and uh, see how they perform. So. As far as the sheaths go, if anybody would actually want to carry them, the uh, Kydex sheath with the dangler on it for the El Chete is a much more comfortable, much easier to use, just pop the blade out, um, and a much more durable sheath than that of the Power Eagle 12. Power Eagle 12 has got the two pockets, so you can put, you know, other tools in here um, if you want, fire starter, multi-tool, whatever, but it's really... For me, it's really uncomfortable, strapped to my side, and you know you got to draw the blade way up to get it out. I, I just don't carry for care for this much. The El Chete, I think, is a much better sheet. All right, 
two monster choppers. Again, both quarter inch thick, both 12 inch blades. But as you can see, the blade design is completely different. This has more of a bolo design and this has um, almost a cross between a, a machete and a parang, big, thick, wide blades. What can I tell you about them in the hand? Um, the Alchete has much better balance, I believe. It, it, it feels more comfortable in my hand weight-wise. The uh, Power Eagle 12, it has more weight forward, but I can tell you it feels a lot less comfortable in my hand because of that. The other thing, right off the handles. I have no idea why Tops did this, but in my opinion, out of all the Tops I've ever used, this is the most uncomfortable Tops handle any knife Tops has ever done. It's hard to hang on to. Even if you use this shot cord up around your hand, this thing is very, very hard to hang on to, and it slips in your hand every time you chop. You're chopping, this part rubs up and down on your palm, and in no time, without gloves, I'm gonna have a really bad hot spot in my palm. So, you know, if I were tops, I'd go back to the drawing board and put a different handle on this. I, like I said, this is the most uncomfortable handle of any tops blade I have ever used. Okay. The Alchete, on the other hand, has this nice, finger groove right here, a curved handle, and it fits in my hand perfectly. And when I chop with it, there's very little to no slippage. It is much more comfortable, much more secure in the hand. So handle difference, sheath difference, um, the Alchete in those categories, definitely the winner. All right, guys. How about a little batoning? Before we get into some chopping and see how these things chop, what about some batoning? Okay, my truck is uh, stuck or I've decided to just build a camp next to my truck. Firewood. All right, let's start with the El Chete since it's sitting right here. I don't have a real heavy baton. Let's see how this works. I can grab another if it's not heavy enough. Very nice, very nice. I like that. I got a fire going back here. I might as well quarter these down and I'll pack them over to my fire. It does the job. I just hammered through a bunch of knots. So batoning um, all day long, big heavy blade works fine. That's the El Chete. All right, Power Eagle 12. Let's see how that feels. Use the same lightweight baton. Um, can't say for sure yet. Let me do another one here. Do the El Chete one more time on that piece of wood, but right now the El Chete feels like it's definitely out batoning. The Power Eagle 12. Yeah. Yeah, the, I don't know exactly blade ergonomics, blade design, I would say. Both are shaving sharp, came that way. I have done nothing to the edge because both took the hair off my arm from the start. But um, El Sete, definitely a better batoner as far as I'm concerned. All right. Start with something small. Do a little chopping here. Just uh, be kind of awkward positioning guys but just chopping some small willow nice very nice power eagle 12 
Now here, weight forward on the Power Eagle 12. Yeah. So, Power Eagle 12 now feels like it has a little advantage over the El Chete. El Chete, more comfortable handle, better sheath, um, definitely batoned better than the Power Eagle 12. But chopping something small like this uh, willow branch, weight forward out here on the Power Eagle 12, it's doing a better job. So, that's an interesting, guys. So we got uh, a victory for the Power Eagle 12 and small stuff. All right. Let's go to something that I'm going to have to work on. This is going to take more than just one single hack to get through. I'm going to have to chop for a while. And this time I'll start with the Power Eagle 12. Okay. Get some uh, good chops going here. Oh, wow. Okay, two chops, maybe not. <laughs> Let's try that again. I might have had a... Oh, yeah. Wow, that's... Look at that. That's three hits. That's three hits, guys. That is a chopper. And there it goes. Four hits. Bam. Um... Boy, the El Chete sure feels better in my hand, but I don't know that it can outperform that weight forward. So let's try it right here. Same thickness right here. So here we go. Well, that went deep, but there we go. It lodged in tight. So I'll show you guys. Three chops on that. That's a big chunk of wood out of there, too. Five. Okay. What can I tell you about what I'm feeling? So, as I said, the handle is more comfortable on the tops, um, El Chete, but I'm feeling a lot more impact in my hand. And I don't have the answer for that, but when I'm hitting something like this big piece, I'm feeling more, more impact from the blade hitting in my hand. I'm not feeling near as much of that impact with the Power Eagle 12. And I would also say that um, the weight forward on the Power Eagle 12 is outperforming the El Chete. I'm getting uh, bigger deeper bites and uh, four hacks took um, the piece of wood with the Power Eagle 12 five hacks with the El Chete and as I said in this one when I'm doing I don't feel that in my hand that I felt the vibration just come right through my hand so whereas the El Chete has a more comfortable handle with gloves on I'd rather be chopping with the Power Eagle 12, surprisingly, because even though the handle's not near as comfortable, the vibration that I'm feeling in my hand is going to get my hand hurting. I've got, it feels that stinging sensation. I'm feeling that right now from the El Chete. So coming for, for being used as a chopper, if you're going to chop wood, um, Power Eagle 12, definitely outperforming the El Chete. Okay. And one more task here for chopping. Getting some boughs down for a shelter. Got Power Eagle 12. I just cleared the whole side of that with two chops. El Chete. Interesting. With that being said, let's try something here. If I wanted to take down a tree, 
If I needed to take down a tree with one of these, I'm just curious which one would have the edge. Okay, that's a nice deep bite three quarters of the way through. It's like that. El Chete. That felt pretty even. Let's do it one more time. Um, wow. <laughs> now on that one, the El Chete. So here's what I got to say, guys. More comfortable handle the El Chete. Uh, better performer for batoning the El Chete. Better performer for just straight up chopping, whether it be small or large. The Power Eagle 12. If I was gonna take down a small tree, it felt pretty even, but the El Chete actually um, chopping, you know, down into the side of a tree as so, did about a better job than the Power Eagle 12. That being said, which would I choose? Well, because I have an ax in my truck and I'm gonna do my chopping of wood with the ax, I would probably choose the El Chete because I'm not gonna be chopping a bunch of hardwood. I am, however, gonna be cutting boughs off a tree uh, for shelter. And if there's no poles for a shelter or something, or everything's buried in the snow and I can't find it, so I actually need to cut down something. Look at that. One chop. Uh, and of course, advantage of the sheath and whatnot. Guys, I'm giving the El Chete the edge. In my opinion, unless you just wanted something that you could take poles and lay them down and start chopping poles into, I would say the El Chete is definitely the better blade. So guys, Battle of the Monster Choppers, Victor El Chete. First video, Ochoco Bushcraft 2020. Before I sign off, guys, I wanna take you over to my shelter. For those who watched last year, you might remember Camp Deadwood. Well, Camp Deadwood is finished. I got a nice fireplace. Um, I got my raised bed, got a roof over me, got a reflective blanket behind me. All I got to do is throw a blanket in there, and I'm good to go. So let's see if I can't give you guys a view of Camp Deadwood. All right. There's my fire, guys. Got my fireplace right there. Big reflective fire fireplace. And... Right here, on the other side of the fireplace, got my raised bed, got my reflective blanket to catch the heat from the fire, and I can feel it. I can feel right now that heat from the fire I just showed you coming right up in my face. There's heat coming off the blanket behind me. I'm actually sitting on my bed, so... I could lay down under this roof, stay dry. Got heat in front, heat behind. Uh, got a firewood pile over here. I'm good for the night. Guys, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for supporting Ochoco Bushcraft. Thanks for uh, hitting that subscribe button this past year, guys. And uh, if any of you are new to the channel, seeing this for the first time, uh, please subscribe. First video of 2020, and we're gonna have a lot of adventures out here, test a lot of gear. And uh, enjoy the uh, new year. Take care, everyone, and enjoy yourselves out there.